Okay, this is our lane. It is, um, it's actually June the 4th, 2021. So, I am here on the corner of, um, Western and Santa Monica Boulevard because this takes you to really quick break. But I've been getting burnt all day in my apartment, so I wanted to do a video on that. And, um, so my face got burned, my arms got burned. It was as if I overslept on the tanning bed. So I'm just gonna be here cooling off in the cool air. It's probably like 60, 61. And so it feels good to cool off. Now this guy in this tab, I see him a lot. Um, I think he's a taxi cab gang stalker. Because when I walk, like he'll be parked on the side streets and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I've been getting burnt and then with the sticky water, there's areas in my abdominal skin that is really getting burnt. And um, so I think this is like a better corner right over here. Yeah. So anyways, um, I've been getting burnt. And with the sticky water, uh, certain areas of my body, because of the sticky water, gets irritated and stuff. So um, I wanted to do a video on it. And um, also, I um, have been getting a couple of times I don't know if chemicals are printed my shampoo or my frequency or my towel where I could feel the frequencies emitting from my scalp and stuff and then also my cat's been really getting targeted I've been doing YouTube videos on her paw and um, just basically um, documenting her too so I noticed like she gets targeted from apartment 404 certain areas where she gets targeted she'll go and she'll scratch at that area at first I used to think well you know um, I used to tell her like so, you know not to do it not to be in the wall and stuff like that but now um, I don't do that I just let her do it so and uh, I noticed that a lot of chemicals have been starting to be put on her, um, her beds, um, her blankets. And I noticed that um, sometimes I guess it must be strong because she'll avoid getting in her bed. And then sure enough, she'll have chemicals on there. And then that kind of tells me... Um, it kind of tells me that uh, she is um, um, she must sense something like not to get in her bed if you know what I mean so uh, anyways I wanted to do a video about that so I'm just here on Santa Monica and Western Avenue uh, cooling off 
uh, you can see like my legs are burnt. See how red they are and stuff. My hands are burnt and stuff. And I need to come out more and do videos where I cool off and stuff. So that's basically uh, what's been going on. So there's not much I can really do about the targeting, but I can do um, my videos about it. And so that's what I do. So right at this corner is uh, La Marnica Bakery. They have really good baked goods. And I have myself been getting targeted by Apartment 302. So I know when I'm purposely getting targeted because when I walk around in my apartment, they will follow with their speakers, which tells me they know what they're doing and stuff. So I will um, just do, um, I'm just talking about that. And also, um, because I'm at the corner, we'll see like how many people come and just stand around me or if they cross like they should. So anyways, um, that's basically it right now. And yeah, just pulling off and um, just watching the traffic and stuff like that. So my apartment is actually, I'm down the street over there, uh, and so I usually walk this area. Oh, and my toes are burnt. The front and the back of my toes are burnt. Uh, the bottom of my feet are burnt. <coughs> um, Uh, the... So here's some of this. Uh, besides that, um, my toes, the bottom of my feet are burnt, my heels are burnt, my ankles are burnt, my legs are burnt, my, um, my legs are burnt, and my um thighs are burned in the front my thighs are burned in the back my butt's burned my lower back's burned my back is burned um what else can i say um everything's burned my breasts are burned shoulders are burned my back of my arms are burnt. Only area not burnt is my armpits. And my neck's burned. Uh, my scalp is burnt. My face is burnt. My eyes are burnt. Uh, my lips are burnt. My nose is burnt and swollen. Um, what else? My ears are burnt. Um, my um, my hands are burnt. Look, you can see how burnt my hands are. Pretty burnt. Just burnt, burnt, burnt. Um, so the past few years, I've been busy with school. So this is my last year and I can graduate so I can turn my attention more towards the um, documenting the frequencies and stuff that happened to me um, because I will not be so busy working and busy studying for school and I'll have um, more time to um, 
document and just, you know, not let things slide. And so, like, my main concern is um, my cat. You know, I don't want her to uh, get um, really, um, well, that lady should not be crossing, but she's going to cross. It's a red light and she's crossing uh, Western Avenue. They must have paid her. That is really dumb. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's basically what, um, I just burnt, burnt, burnt. Now, for that to happen to me, then it would have to happen to my kitty cat. Because she lives with me. So I know things are happening to her. And I have a feeling that when I'm gone, sometimes depending on the dirty resident, she is not being treated well, but smart enough not to do anything where I can visibly see her. So, and my food's been tampered with. For sure. And um, it's definitely been tempered. And also, um, it's been tempered. And also, um, my chair's been tempered. So, um, I, like, three days after I bought my chair, which was like barely almost two months ago, it was uh, tempered with. And it was actually, um, so when I raise my chair, it stays up just for like a little while. And then after that, it, um, it goes down slowly, but it goes down. But it goes down so that when I'm at my desk, I get targeted in the stomach, so that gives me the symptoms of diarrhea. And then also, um, separate from that, it will give me, um, I notice like sometimes my fever, the food is starting to fall out, so I don't know if they unplug my freezer just to unplug it or they're unplugging it because they're doing work like working on the wall or something I'm not really sure on that but um, definitely um, that so it hasn't gone to the point where my food's gotten bad but I noticed one of my orange juice uh, containers mysteriously got bad and uh, I didn't realize it until I started getting sick and then I checked and realized that even though it hadn't expired and I newly purchased it so I kind of thought that was kind of suspicious but it is what it is so you know all I can do is um, come out and uh, do my videos so um, that's what I'm doing and because I'm not moving uh, people are starting to um, come out and stand in the corner, which is very interesting. So, um, and stuff. So, they're starting to stand like, uh, what do you call it? Um, street theater and stuff. So, I'm getting a lot here. And then also, I have one right there in the striped shirt because I'm not going to be moving, so there will be somebody coming, except for the ones driving back and forth and stuff. So, anyways, that is basically um, what is going on. Um, I should try another angle. So this one was looking over my shoulder.
we should probably try another corner. Oh, and then also this parking lot is where a lot of gang stalkers will also um, park. So that's the bakery I was talking about, La Monica Bakery, right there. They have really good stuff, like really good food. And my right thigh is getting targeted, I think, from the street light. So I'm going to cross now and um, that car almost hit me and I think I'll just come over here and sit for a little bit. And get another angle. <clears throat> so actually you can kind of see like my legs are pretty burnt here. Better lighting. And you can see the frequencies on it. There's the Filipino town, uh, there's little Armenia, there's little Ethiopia, there's little Italy. So I do get a variety of stalkers. But what I find interesting and hypocritical is like some of them, you know, they're from their countries, like there's things going on and stuff. And they're like, oh, my country, my people and stuff like that. But yet, um, they talk about the enemy that they don't like and stuff. But then, if you think about it, they're doing the same thing, you know. So, that I find very hypocritical. You stalk and target somebody, but yet in your country you're crying about persecution and stuff like that. They're doing the same thing here, so I don't know what they're crying about. And then... Some, they follow me and they have their flag of their country hanging out the car. It's like a dead giveaway. It's like, why you have, you have your flag and you're, because it's a certain celebration or something that's happened. But yet, you're going around targeting and stalking people the same way. See that guy? He is stalking. That's a gang stalker in the striped shirt across the street. He ain't going anywhere. So anyways... Um, I'm just going to go for my walk now and um, I think it's good to come out and this is a good corner to come to like on a uh, Friday, Friday and Saturday so I'll be back out here tomorrow and Sunday uh, just to do my videos and stuff. I'm going to get burnt, I will definitely come out and talk about it. I'm not going to be remain quiet about it at all. And 
it will be interesting how this goes when I do go back to work. Because when I was at work, I used to get burnt, but not as burnt as I'm getting. So it'll be interesting when I do go back to work how the targeting works, because I will be talking about it and doing videos about it. Of course, not there, but as soon as I get on the public sidewalk, I will be doing my videos about it, documenting it and stuff. So. And that's it for now.